to win the one year Canva subscription. The instructions to follow are at the end of this video. So make sure you watch through and listen to the instruction. The Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create illustrations in Canva. Um, someone was at once asked me if it is possible to make illustrations in Canva. Um, I would like to show you an example just as you see on the banner of my YouTube channel. These are completely done in Canva. Um, let's head over to Canva and I'll show you um, one more example. On my second page, these are things I've made basically with basic shapes. And if I ungroup and move them around, you see that in fact they are nothing but ordinary shapes. So um, let's go back to our blank canvas and start our own work. But before we do, we need a visual clue. So I'll go back to my YouTube channel. I'll take my sniping tool and uh, make a copy, do a screen grab of the banner that I have on my channel and come back here to Canva and paste it. So I can crop off areas I don't need. Bring this up here and size it out a little bit. Yeah. So the next thing we'll be doing is majorly go to element. Everything we'll be doing is majorly within the shapes confine. But how do you get here? I have this showing for me because I've used it earlier. But for somebody who is just attempting it now, all you need to do is click into the search and click on lines and shapes and you will have everything populated down here for you. So I'm going to start with this shape right here to bring it over here and I'll take a circle which is up here and bring it over here. Now I need to begin to make these shapes overlap and make sense of them. So first I'm going to color my hair. This circle is going to make my hair so I'm going to send it to the back, scale it up a little bit more. And for this character, I want some style to the hair, just like I have here, but in a more different version, you know. So, um, I'll scroll down again, I'll take this, and I'm going to make it black also, and I'll bring it over here. Now you get what I'm saying. So there's a vibe to him, to it already. Um, next, I'm going to be creating the features. So I'm going to give this the color of this skin tone somewhere around there something like this i think it's fine I'll, 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 I'll stretch this backward a little bit bring it down yep so we have a feeling going here like her hair the hair of our character is popping over his um, skin okay so next thing is to begin to create uh, the other features of the body I'll take the rectangle, the square tool, and um, skew that into a rectangle. Make sure it's aligned to the center. Send that to the back. And um, I reduce the length a little bit. Then I can make a duplicate of that by pressing Ctrl D or just, place it, or just basically copying and pasting. And uh, make that aligned also to the center. Do something like this and I'll stretch it to the right and to the left a little bit align it again and I'll come back to this first one I'll make it a darker skin tone of this so I'll make use of this color so that already gives us the feel that there is light on the face and there is some shade cast on the chin and uh, neck area okay so next we'll build the ears out and I will be using this shape for that. I'll bring this shape down here. And I'll um, stretch it back a little bit. Scale it down. Bring it somewhere around here, here. And um, I'm going to make that a little bit lighter. Something like this. And I'll send that to the back gradually. Send to back. Okay, it's gone far behind, so I'll just send the air behind that which is sending the air back now. This here is, this here is too big. I'm going to scale it down and bring it around here. And I'm going to make a duplicate of that. Copy and paste. I haven't pasted that. I'll make sure it's aligned. Hold down on my shift on my keyboard and drag around until I get to the other side where I then send it to the back again. 
so I know for sure it's behind the big portion of the hair so I'll click on the big portion of the hair the circle and send that to the back as well um, I think it's also hiding behind it so what I'll do is I'll select this and I'll select this together with it holding shift so I can send both to the back now the hair is revealed but now we also have to bring this back to the front okay so I'll right click here now and I'll bring to front so that overlaps everything so I have to be careful here not to allow this um, mess with the hair so I'm gonna bring down the ears a little bit more I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard to do that so there's no conflict over there now that's done and out of the way next thing we want to build is a nose um, I'll use the same shape as was used for the body for the for the larger face which is this shape scale that down bring that between the ears and change the color to something a bit darker than the skin a little bit more darker than that you can just play around with colors here as a suit you I'm gonna scale that down and make sure it's aligned to the center the human face is typically symmetrical in view I'll bring this out I'll scale it down until I have a semicircle and then I can bring this back in here to the center um, I can zoom in a little bit for proper view I think I want to darken this nose a little bit so it stands out a little bit a little bit more and I think somewhere around here will do okay great so I can zoom back out a little bit now let's focus on the eyes and the lips for the lips we can duplicate this copy and paste or this time we can do duplicate which is ctrl d so i'll rather do duplicate duplicate and i'll move that out of the way and um, i need to make the upper lips now for my character i want him to have some pink lips um, maybe not pink in the sense of pink pink but something in that region of colors great i think this is fine I'll push this lip up a bit so it's not too droopy. I'm going to zoom in. Now to create the upper lips, I'm going to have to use the same shape, but this time I'm going to flip it. So here's what I'm going to do. Ctrl D to create a duplicate of that. And then I'm going to rotate until I get to minus 180 degrees. And that I can place on top, scale it down, bring it further left create a duplicate country D bring it down make sure it's sitting on the same line as this I'll hold my shift button on my on my keyboard and then select the second one and scale both down so I need to zoom in to scale down successfully okay so yeah so that's that's it basically I can make this upper lips a bit darker in color. Let me use uh, something from the skin. Something, yeah, something like this from the skin. And then I can zoom out. Already our character is taking shape. The last thing we want to build are the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to take the shape of the face once more, which is this shape the inverted pipe of it and I'm going to scale that down bring it to the side over here zoom in a little bit I'm going to make that a black color I'm going to duplicate that Ctrl D bring it up and make sure they are the same line and then holding my shift I'll move it to the other side and um, I'll just eyeball it here and make sure that they are equidistant from both here's uh, great so let's zoom out and see how far our character is doing not bad I want to bring down this here this hair so it looks a little bit more realistic okay very good now the next thing we'll be doing is to create this shine in the in the eyes 
this shine that we have going on here. Um, you can be wondering how I'm zooming in and out because it's a web-based application. Once I hold on to my control and I use my mouse wheel to zoom in or out by scrolling either up or down. Basically, that's how it's done. Um, next is to create the shine and the highs. So I'm going to bring in a circle. Circle is big. Scale it down. Make it white. This is very big still. Bring it down. Great. And then create a duplicate of that. Bring it to this side. Zoom in a little bit more. And scale it down. And that's just fine. So what I'm going to be doing is to make a duplicate of these two. Holding my shift, holding my shift, I'll click on the first one. Holding my shift, I'll click on the second one. And then I press Ctrl D on the keyboard. Now that that is done, I'll bring it over here. And I'm following the guys, the pink guidelines to show me that I'm doing the exact same thing on the right to the left. But that's not all. Two circles here that make for the shiny high to be flipped and show character just like we have here just to show the symmetry i'm going to bring this here holding my shift to constrain it in one line movement i'm going to hold my shift and bring this the other way also and there we have it our character is made i can then make a copy of this character bring it this way Ctrl D, I haven't selected everything. I'll select everything here. Make sure this is excluded. And I'll press Ctrl D. I'll bring this over here. I can make another character of this how. So I'm going to make a smiley character now out of this. And um, what I want to do is duplicate the call out sign that is here. Ctrl D. And I'm going to. Um, Rotate that this time, and then you rotate that. Bring it up here and scale it down a little bit more. Already, they're looking like identical twins. And I'm going to change the color of the neck color. Change the color to something more interesting. Come down here. If you take a look at the mouth, the mouth is made up of the shape of the lower lip and a rectangle. So that's what we're going to do there. So we're, we're retaining this lower lip and we're going to delete this too. We'll um, take this up a little bit more. And then we can duplicate this rectangle and bring it up and scale it down. and. Uh, that's how it's made until it's about the width size of it. I'll scale it out a little bit of this so it looks pink like a here on the face. Right. So I'll raise, we'll raise that up. I hope you enjoyed and then this tutorial. I'd like to see what you make. More. And uh, for a bonus tip for today, light anyone who wishes to, bright to white. try out what I've done, there is a free gift of a one year subscription of Canva. To win the one year subscription that comes with this tutorial, I'll need you to be a subscriber. So quickly click the icon that says subscribe on that screen area and then click the notification bell and make sure you also click like because that makes YouTube suggest this video to more people. I really like to see what you can make having learned how to use Canva to make illustrations. And the best two submissions that uses Canva to create beautiful illustration of faces like this are going to be lucky winners of one year Canva subscription each.